Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorite games, and I still consider it one of the best games ever made. I remember playing through this when I was younger so many times that I had basically memorized the entire game. My wife, on the other hand, has never played through this game. She is not a fan of survival horror games. She doesn't mind watching them here and there. In fact, she's seen small bits and pieces of this game as I've played through it in the past. But playing it is a whole nother thing. She does not enjoy playing these kind of games typically. But I was able to convince her to try to play through this game. So a quick disclaimer before we get started. She does play games. She just doesn't play survival horror games typically. So she is experienced with playing games. She's not a complete noob. In fact, she is fairly decent at quite a few other games. This is just not her typical genre that she plays in. Now, as I said before, she's seen like small pieces of this game from watching me play it in the past, but it was mostly the very, very beginning portion of the game. So once we get past the very beginning, she's going to be pretty much going through this entirely blind. Now, I will be giving her some tips here and there just to help her out. And I might start giving her some hints here and there if she starts to overlook something or really be struggling. But I'm really going to leave it on her to solve everything and beat everything. Now if she is really having a hard time and she asks for advice, then I'll help her. But I'm not going to take the controller whatsoever. It's going to be on her to beat absolutely everything. Resident Evil. Oh, goodness. What? Just... This. <laughs> it's not that bad. I'm terrible at aiming anyway, and this just seems like it's gonna be real bad. Well, this is how you get better, is play games like this. Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! Freeze. <laughs> One down, a million to go. You, uh, you have struggle busting a little bit. Yeah, you know, just, just a little. You, you realize you have a gun, right? <laughs> but I also know that you're not supposed to use it very much. Because <laughs> these stupid games don't give you any ammo. <laughs> you know what else it doesn't give you much of? Health. H health. <laughs> there it is. Okay, you beat the game. That's all you were here for. Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What kind of nonsense is that? Nope. Stupid bear trap.
such a nonsense. <clears throat> well, I have to give you credit. At least you, you know, haven't wasted any amp. Well, wait, never mind. You have. <laughs> I forgot that you fired twice. No, just once. There's only once. Twice. You have eight rounds. When did I fire the second time? Um... Seeing at least uh, unlike other. Oh, shoot. Oh, are you kidding me? What kind of nonsense is that? Nope. He's gonna jump out at me. I can't like look that way and walk this way. It's dumb. God, still didn't work. This is gonna be bad. They start clear over. Well, it gives you a chance to do it better this time. <laughs> ah! God damn it. Dodge button that I'm missing? Nope. There should be a dodge button. There are certain encounters where there are going to be chances for the dodge attacks. But most regular enemies are not. I guess this might have been helpful last time. Yeah. <laughs> Really? There we go. I was gonna say. Oh my goodness. Going for a knife only run, huh? <laughs> I just know that. There's not a lot of ammo. I don't know. <laughs> this is a struggle. I don't know when it's appropriate to use my 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 gun and when it's not. <laughs> oh God! And then I thought two would be enough for this dang thing. Hey, you made it past that guy this time, though. Leon, how you holding up? Bad Terrible. question, honey. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. Oh, hey, they're look sending you the playing that. manual now, though. Probably should have done that in the first place. Yeah, you know, they have to fight 20 people before you figure out what the controls are. Oh, all these crazy people are gonna be after me. Great. Kick him. Kick him. Goodness, no. Cow, save me. Oh, 
way to avoid the chainsaw guy. <laughs> I hear him. I don't know where he is. And I don't want to know. throw stuff at you? Shoot. Oh no. Survive? Are they all gonna leave me alone? I can't believe you. <laughs> <alone>. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you survived that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the sliver of health left! <laughs> and the chainsaw guy literally right behind he me. He missed me! <laughs> Where's everyone going? Bingo? <laughs> I be died fair. in the beginning with nothing, but I managed to survive the village. <laughs> and that's like a something like a that I'm supposed to do for like uh, something, right? <laughs> sure. Oh my goodness. Why doesn't he hold steady? Well, you've shot handguns before. You should know it's not that easy. <laughs> But, <laughs> Why'd you create a new save file? I don't know. I always have a habit of using more than one save file in case for some reason you like get stuck or have to turn back. Oh goodness. If you're not already an anxious and paranoid person, this game just does it for you. So there's enough, like, but I know there's a big chunk, especially the further we get in, that I know absolutely nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've seen me. Like play, I've like, seen the, the beginning, beginning like, a couple times. At least, like, I knew that the whole town was gonna come after me, but I didn't remember that, like, I just had to survive a certain amount of time. Oh shit. I should have hit him and then he wouldn't have hit me. Oh, where did you come from? Yeah, no, there is a reason that I avoid um 
horror games and specifically survival horror games like it's just I don't like being I'm too jumpy like <laughs> there will probably be a time or two where I drop the controller because I jump too hard <laughs> You survive that. <laughs> Especially with the way you were pressing square there. With one finger? <laughs> with one finger. Your pointer finger at that. Yes. Yeah, it only takes one finger to, to press it, but... <laughs> yeah, but spamming at it with your pointer finger. <laughs> you know, whatever works. And it worked. It did work. They're throwing things at me now. Did he blow himself up? Sure did. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Bear trap. No, there's a hundred bear traps! I thought I could run past it. How the heck do you know to shoot that? I just assumed it was a lock that I could shoot. <laughs> it just looked like something I could shoot. Can you crouch? No. Well, that's dumb. I don't know about this. Lovely. End of chapter. Oh man. Made it, made it to the first chapter. chapter. Yeah, but I didn't get all those medallion thingies. Didn't it say something? I don't. I don't know. So there you go, guys. That was uh, chapter one of Resident Evil Four. She actually did uh, better than I expected. She did fairly well through that. So I was, I was mildly impressed. So you guys will have to let me know if you want to see her play through the rest of the game. It'll be a kind of a long series. This game is fairly long. But I would love to, uh, to watch her play through the rest of the game. So let me know down in the comments section if you guys are interested in uh, turning this into a series on the channel and just watching her uh, play through the rest of this game. So thanks for watching today, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care.